So now in this video, we're going to quickly look at using a uh, bipolar junction transistor. This is an NPN bipolar junction transistor as a NOT gate or digital inverter. And basically what that means is that when we are given a uh, low signal, we'll actually just leave it floating, but we'll consider that zero volts to the transistor, the LED will be on. When we give uh, five volts, in this case, to the uh, transistor base, then the output will be off. It will lose its voltage. It will be down to zero volts because it'll connect to the negative ground. Hopefully that makes sense. But in any case, there's the uh, not gate schematic symbol right there. And the uh, logic gates come with truth tables. And this is the simplest one. So you can see when the input's high or on, however you want to say it, the output is off. When the input is off, low, zero volts, whatever you want to say, the output is high on five volts or whatnot. So we will get to the circuit. I already have the switch on there. You can see it goes to the positive supply right there. We will grab the uh, transistor here. So this is the 2N3904. And the left pin is the base, which is the arrow on the schematic symbol there. Or, uh, sorry, left pin is the emitter, which is the arrow. Middle pin is the base. And then right pin is the collector. We're going to turn it uh, that way. Now the collector, we're going to put to this orange jumper, which will head to the LED. You can see we got a, a couple rows right next to each other with uh, jumpers on different rows. So the base is on its own row there, and the emitter down at the bottom is connected directly to ground. We're going to grab the LED right now. So long lead, the anode, goes to the collector. The orange jumper, short lead, the cathode, goes to the gray jumper. LEDs are dialed. They only conduct in one way. And uh, really, I assume you know this all by now, but uh, we'll just do that for review. So now we're going to take uh, this resistor here and... We're going to put it to the uh, positive supply right there and then to the collector of the transistor so we'll get a little better view right there and so right now i'm going to turn the power on and there you can see the led is on but nothing's going to the base so the transistor is off we're going to change that by uh, taking the uh, resistor you see there going to the bottom of the switch and going to the base of the transistor. Pretty straightforward. So nothing's changed now. Transistor's still off. The LED is on. I press the button. Now the transistor is on. So our input is basically on, high, five volts, whatever you want to say. And the LED is not lit up. So it's about zero volts on uh, both sides of it. So the output is off at the moment. Now the output is on. So pretty simple circuit and uh, but uh, you come across transistors all the time when they're conducting better they're getting rid of voltage for the output and uh, so even though this is a simple circuit it's not one you normally would build for any reason it's still pretty educational there's uh, logic inverter integrated circuits that uh, perform this function all within one integrated circuit, you're more likely to use one of those if you really need one. So we'll look at that in an upcoming video. But in any case, hopefully you still enjoyed. Make sure you click like, subscribe, the bell, all that good stuff. And uh, I will see you in the next video.